What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a new series for you guys that I'd like to call Unlocked, and I'll get into the reason that is uh, in a moment here. But uh, I wanted to start this new series where essentially I take like a super challenging Pokemon. You guys know me, I like to build off the beaten path occasionally, uh, but I want to have a dedicated series where I start doing that. So uh, what I want to do is I want to take requests from people uh, in the comments section, but for the first video I did it on Twitter, by the way, follow me on Twitter, uh, and I said, I will make a Series 6 VGC team around the Pokemon that gets the most likes in the replies. And there were quite a few replies, more than I expected. Uh, at one point, Weedle to Needle showed up and was like, hey, build a team around Flap One. Weedle, I love you, I love you, man, but here's the thing. You can't just stroll up with thousands of subscribers and steal the <laughs> steal the competition. Where was your tweet? You wanted me to build around Flapple, but Flapple, personally, I think that's just a little bit too easy. So I ended up going with second place, someone without thousands of subscribers. Um, there it is, Flapple. 122 likes. I went with second place. And by the way, second place is second by a large margin. My good old buddy Black Bear Tick here wanted a Poltegeist team. And honestly, um, I might be disappointing you here because we are using Poltegeist. Probably not using it the way you want me to use it though. <laughs> so uh, basically, I want to start this series uh, where you guys go ahead and comment hashtag unlocked and then the Pokemon you want me to try to build around. Uh, do go ahead and do that in the comment section down below, or maybe do it on Twitter, hashtag unlocked. And we're going to be building around whatever Pokemon you want me to have a challenge with. Just something you want me to try to make a team around. Today we're using Poltegeist. And wow, this is such a straightforward way of using Poltegeist, but I decided to slap something on to make it a little bit different. So, Self Shadow Sneak is the very obvious path. Weak armor, uh, gives me plus two speed, allowing me to outspeed pretty much everything in the format. I gave myself 104, so I outspeed Jolly Barrascuta. Uh, at plus two, I have Eviolite, Frisk, Trick Room, uh, Dusclops here. Uh, with Shadow Sneak to Self Shadow Sneak, giving myself my weakness policy, giving me a very massive special attack stat. Uh, I have some good coverage with Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, and Giga Drain. This thing doesn't get very good coverage overall. I could run Psychic actually over Dark Pulse. I guess, I guess Psychic is better overall. We'll run Psychic, um, and that'll allow me to hit a lot of things. Maybe I run Psy Shock actually. I'll go Psychic. Basically, that allows me to hit a lot of things uh, for super effective damage, or at least a very strong stab, Max Phantasm. However, we could also bait our opponent into saying, hey, that's a Dusclops and a Poltegeist. I know what they're probably about to do. So instead, we go ahead and we nay nay on them by going for <laughs> Trick Room and Iron Ball Dracovish. <laughs> Honestly, a horrible combination. I was talking to the dude in the previous game, I'm like, I'm sorry, man, I'm a horrible person for running this. So we have uh, Iron Ball Dracovish here, Strong Jaw, of course. Um, this thing is very, very slow with the Iron Ball. Uh, we're able to click Vicious Rend, underspeed a lot of things. Uh, we have Support Amoongus here with Regenerator Spore, Rage Powder, Protect, Palm Puff. Uh, and also we have Focus Sash, uh, Taunt, Lash Out, Iron Head, Sucker Punch, Bisharp, my personal favorite way of running it in this format. And we have uh, Life Orb, G-Max, Toxtricity with the Tib in Nature, Overdrive, Boom Burst, Protect, and Sludge Bomb. And I'm running Baton Pass because we can actually Baton Pass into quite a few things. Originally, I was like, I'm going to Baton Pass into Dracovish, but then I was like, I could also make that a Trick Room Attacker. <laughs> And just ruin someone's evening. That's what we're that's what we're doing in this series. We're ruining people's evenings. Um, but I might be able to baton pass into this Bisharp to help me beat a Porygon Z lead because Bisharp will just completely wall that Porygon Z. If they go for the max darkness, I resist it, uh, and then I just Dynamax and beat them. Uh, if I decide to baton pass into Toxtricity, it's just game. It's just game if Toxtricity gets in for free. Plus two Boom Burst with a Dusclops next to it, nothing. It's it's like nothing is taking that. Plus two Overdrive, nothing is taking that. It's so much fun. Uh, but yeah, I haven't tested this team too much. I got like three or four games, but I'm just confident that we're about to ruin someone's evening. So if you guys are excited for this series, go ahead, leave a like, and uh, comment down below, hashtag unlocked, what you want me to use in the next one. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let, let's ruin some evenings. That's that's the goal. Let's ruin some evenings. Okay, okay. So I see um, Defiant, uh, probably some Tailwind set up here, but I don't really care. I, I have my own Tailwind, and that Tailwind is called literally just Baton Passing. Or I could go with the Dusclops Dracovish lead here. That wouldn't be terrible. I could go Poltegeist Dusclops, actually. I'll go Poltegeist Dusclops. Dracovish in the back seems really, really solid here uh, under Trick Room, considering I'm slower than everything on their team. And I think my last Pokemon, it's between Toxtricity or Amoongus. Uh, the thing about Poltegeist is that once my Trick Room's over, I can go on the offensive in fast mode. So um, I think for this matchup, I mean, Amoongus can put quite a few things to sleep, barring safety goggles on that Arcanine, so I'll just go with that. Alright, I honestly could not have asked for a uh, for a better lead here. Um, 
I could just go on the offensive, to be honest. I could knock out this Toxtricity right now. So we'll just go fast mode. Let's go ahead and max Phantasm the Toxtricity. We'll self Shadow Sneak. Hopefully no Dynamax from them. Uh, I guess I would have gone second if that were the case. So we're probably just going to knock it out. Uh, Arcanine is typically support, so we might see a Snarl, but I'm doubting it. I'm doubting it. If they go for a Flare Blitz, I'm in trouble, though. There's the Snarl. I'm cool with that. Like I said, if they want to go for a KO against me, I can just pick up a KO right before I go down and then go for the Trick Room and win with uh, win with this Iron Ball Dracovish. By the way, the reason I'm calling it Unlocked is because... I, I forgot to get into that. The reason I'm calling the series Unlocked is because, personally, I feel that every Pokemon can be viable in a particular niche. You just kind of have to you have to chip away at that and unlock that potential, if that makes sense. It's really cheesy, but that's literally how you play this game. You have to know your calcs. You have to know as much as possible. Uh, I think here... I don't even think they KO me. Yeah, I don't think they can KO me here. But I'm willing to bet they're going to Dynamax and survive my hit. And maybe double into Poltegeist. So I'll just go ahead and I'll attack them. I'll go for my Trick Room. Um, and even if this happens, even if I end up losing my Poltegeist here, I just get in the <laughs> I get in the Dracovish and I win. So I'm kind of hoping I lose the Poltegeist. If not, that's not really the end of the world as they do not pick up a KO. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll just attack here, removing the Duraldon. I go for this nice and crisp Nightshade into the Arcanine. I don't mind losing my Pokemon here. I don't mind losing my Pokemon here, man. Get in this Dracovish right here. Um, oh, I guess I should have Nightshade of the Duraldon in retrospect, but Ficious Rend at minus one defense should do it. Uh, and I can also get in this here, Amoongus. Yeah, I'll just get in the Amoongus. They might go for a Will-O-Wisp, I don't really mind it too much. There goes the Duraldon. As they Scorching Sands, don't you dare. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. You really, you really going to do that to me? It's not that it matters. Arcanine's dead. And I can just put that Malamar to sleep. So we'll go ahead and Ficious Rend that thing, and we'll go for the Spore and the Malamar. Um, yeah, Arcanine is gone. Malamar should be going to sleep right about now, as it does. And Ficious Rend into Palm Puff will pick up that KO. So there it is. There's our first win. We have... Whoop, don't mean to save that replay. We have unlocked... We have unlocked Poltegeist here. <laughs> I, I, want, I really want a Baton Pass. I really want a Baton Pass this thing, man. I want to get in this uh, Toxtricity more than anything. Okay, so we have a, a bit of a Sun Offense team. By the way, we're super low ladder because, like, we're almost, where almost where else am I going to practice this? Where else? Uh, once again, the Poltegeist Duskops lead is looking very favorable for me. Uh, in the back here, they don't really have a Trick Room mode. I kind of want to go Toxtricity Bisharp. Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine, man. I think it's pretty rare for us to not have a decent matchup versus the opposing team. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. They should be going for like a max darkness into the Poltegeist. But where I'm concerned is the fact that they're going to lower my special defense. Yeah, they're going to lower my special defense, which could be problematic. So what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and I'll Dynamax to ensure I survive that. And I'll max Overgrowth here into the Primarina. I want to get rid of that. I'm not really concerned with Porygon because it's really a non-issue once I have Bisharp on the field. Is my thing full screen? Huh, strange. Uh, and I'll just self shadow sneak. I don't really care about Porygon. We should live the hit. And my max overgrowth should be doing a ton at plus two with this thing's massive special attack stat. Hopefully it's life orb and not assault vest. That looks like it was life orb. <laughs> There's no way we would have eaten that otherwise. As they go for the max darkness into the dust cops, they were definitely trying to pick up a nene there. They were trying to go for the nene, but unfortunately they, they have been stopped by the teapot. Short and stout. Here's my handle. Here's your death. Okay, um, what I want to do here is ensure that, man, this is actually quite an issue. I want to be able to go for my, because <laughs> they're going to sucker punch, right? That's the issue. They're going to sucker punch. Hmm. I could just try to attack, and I think as long as I get in my Toxtricity in the endgame, I'm fine. And I could also Trick Room here. Ooh, I might Trick Room, actually, yeah. I'll go for the Trick Room and I'll attempt to KO this Urshifu, but I doubt I'll be able to. We'll just, uh... Yeah, alright. Here's my play. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Max Overgrowth into the Porygon for the most damage I can get here. And I'll Trick Room up. They should probably go for... Ah, man, no, that doesn't work either because they're just gonna KO my, my Dust Clops. How do I do this? What is your Wisdom HP Love Handles? 
I mean, they're just going to be going for the Sucker Punch into the Pulte guys, aren't they? Here's what I'll do. Um, I'll max guard. And I'll get in Bisharp on their max darkness. As they Sucker Punch. And they actually double into me, which is phenomenal. Because I actually keep my Focus Sash on my Bisharp. And now I'm actually not in too bad of a situation. I could attempt to double max guard. I think I do that, because their Sucker Punch would knock me out anyway, so I'm going to try to go for the double max guard, and I'll just lash out into Porygon. I'm going to hope I can get it, because if I double max guard here, I can Baton Pass into, um... I fail it, that's that's fine. They Sucker Punch, hopefully they target into Bisharp here. No, unfortunately we do not get that, but my Lash Out should knock out this Porygon Z. Oh, this is going to be doing some massive damage. Hello, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the good stuff, man. Uh, and we do have the Focus Ash on the... On the Bisharp. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to... Yeah, I think I can win this. I want a Trick Room really bad. But I'm pretty doubtful I'll get that off. Uh, I could Sucker Punch the Ninetales to KO here. I'll do that. I'll just double into the Ninetales. Shadow Sneak Sucker Punch should do it. As they Sucker Punch me, which is fine. Ooh, it look... Oh, we get the crit! <laughs> we get the crit. We're so lucky, dude. We're so lucky. Let me Trick Room up and let me go for this... Uh... They should try to Sucker Punch me, but in case they don't... Hey, hey, that's fine. That's fine. Let me go ahead and go for this, uh... Yeah, they just they just forfeit. Oh, this man got unlocked. This man got unlocked, dude. I have to make thumbnail art for this. I don't want to hire another artist because I'm, I'm broke right now, but I appreciate all the artists who have been helping me out on the channel recently. You guys are phenomenal. All right, this is going to be a game where we actually switch in Toxtricity, and if we can get it in, it's going to be huge. Um, they might be Trick Room. If they're Trick Room, I'll really, really want to get in Dracovish. But I'm not willing to risk that. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll... Just bring Bisharp. We'll just bring the Bisharp here. Yeah, I mean, like... Ooh. He's in for a world of pain, dude. He's self-weakness policy. I can feel it in my veins. This man is self-weakness policy. He's going to go for a floor healing. And then he's going to try to attack me. But you know what? I don't even care. Because I'm going to one-shot him with... Uh, I think my best play is Max Mindstorm. Because Max Overgrowth would actually give him better floor healing. Yeah, we'll Max Mindstorm and I'll, sh I'll self-shadow sneak. Yeah, he's going to drain and kiss himself. But he doesn't know what's coming, man. Ooh, ooh, look at that damage. You ready? I'm about to KO you back. This thing's got a massive special attack set. I'm confident. I shouldn't be, but I am. I'm confident this will KO. <laughs> get him out of here. Get this man a get this man an ambulance. And he also Dynamax already. He's gonna go ahead and he's gonna try to go for a, a Trick Room here. So I'm gonna max Mindstorm on his Comfy and Trick Room myself. There's the Ally Switch. Do I care though? Do I care? Not really. I like yeah, the Trick Room's up, but I can just undo my Trick Room, or I can call him trying to undo the Trick Room and I undo undo his Trick Room. But that requires too much thinking. Let me go. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Uh, his brain hurts right now. He's going to forfeit. Thank you, Poltegeist. You're really pulling through here. I wasn't certain this was going to work. But there's a certain level of confidence there comes uh, that comes with um, running Poltegeist and Iron Ball Dracovish. I'm going to bring the Iron Ball Dracovish here. I'm going to reverse sweep him if he tries to get up a trick room in my face. And it's going to be a really good time. Let me bring the Toxtricity because I really want a baton pass to it. There are certain leads where you can baton pass into Toxtricity, but because we're lowering our defense on it, uh, it isn't always the best play. It isn't always the best play. We have to come in on like a special attacker, and one that doesn't hit too hard. Probably like more passive leads are better for getting in Toxtricity. Uh, I would call this a pretty passive lead. I would call that a pretty passive lead. So here's the thing, uh, he's probably just going to Trick Room self bulldoze. I'll just Trick Room on his Trick Room and Dynamax immediately. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to Dynamax our boy. I'll Trick Room on his Trick Room. And if he ends up not going for the, uh, if he ends up not going for the Trick Room here, I don't mind it too much. Trick Room on your, Trick Room on my, on my Trick Room, dude. Please, Trick Room on my Trick Room. Hey, that's what I thought. Okay. Okay, so I could get in the Dracovish here. Ooh, 
Or do I let him get up his trick room and then reverse sweep him? I don't know, it's a pretty risky play. Let me just get in the Dracovish. Uh, he should protect here. I would assume he protects. Because you can't afford to get hit by Dracovish. I'll fish this Ren into Dusclops and hope I just get lucky. Fish this Ren plus Nightshade should prevent Trick Room. <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. Check this out. I'm going to be slower than his Dragology as he Will O Wisps. As he Will O Wisps. Okay. Um. So that's a bit unfortunate. That's a bit unfortunate, but we can prevent the Trick Room with a Shadow Sneak here. So I'll Protect. I will Shadow Sneak. I'm actually not certain if I'm slower than this Dragology, which is kind of sad. Oh, I forgot about my Psychic Train. I'm a big dummy. I'm a big fat dummy as he Pain Splits. All right, uh, we're going to Boom Burst here. I'm going to Boom Burst to try to KO that Dragology, uh, and I will also Nightshade into it. It's not going to work, is it? Man, did I just lose my first game of Unlocked? Let's Trick Room on his Trick Room and Boom Burst. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. Okay, let me Boom Burst again. Uh, and this turn he's going to call me Trick Rooming on his Trick Room. I wish I could Shadow Sneak right now. So I'm just going to Nightshade. I'm timid, so it probably won't KO. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to KO. Okay, so good game, bro. Good game. We lose our first match. But it took a while. Granted, we are pretty low ladder. Granted, we are very low ladder right now. I just I just really want to pull that Baton Pass stunt. That Baton Pass stunt is a phenomenal play. Believe me. I, I know phenomenal plays. Okay. Alright. Ooh... All right, uh, we have to bring the Dracovish here. We have to bring the Dracovish, 100%. We have to bring it. Because they might Trick Room on me, and if they Trick Room on me, they're going to regret it. I guarantee you they're going to regret it. Yeah, my speed's 40. So I'm pretty slow. Um, I could Trick Room on them to Nene, dude. I'll go ahead and I'll bring the Toxtricity in the back. Because I, honestly, I don't care about winning anymore. I want, I want to use this Toxtricity. Fun fact, uh, if I were in any other series other than this, I wouldn't actually be baton passing with uh, Poltegeist. Or I wouldn't actually be baton passing into these two. I would actually probably use like a fast Drake of Vision baton pass into it, and probably not Toxtricity. I think I would end up using something like a Cinderace or Rillaboom for that slot, because it's just so threatening. Okay. Ah, dang, I kind of wish I brought the other Pokemon now. Hmm. I think I just Trick Room here. And I might let him have my Poltegeist. I'll go for the Baton Pass in case he Trick Rooms, because then I get in my Mon for free. Because it's not like I'm getting any damage off here anyways. There's the Fake Tears as he tries to KO the Dust Clops, and he actually succeeds here. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let me actually get in Toxtricity then. Yeah. Okay. So he has lowered my special defense because I had to baton pass that in. How do I play around this? He's probably going to Thunder Wave into Dracovish. I'll go Poltegeist. I might have to Dynamax the Poltegeist because it's got the best chance of living something. I'll Boom Burst because that's my strongest option. Ah, man, I really hate that I have to Dynamax this thing. Maybe I don't. No, I, I do. I do because this thing would just drop. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll like Max Overgrowth the Grim Snarl. <laughs> I guess that would be my play here. Yeah, no, we can't win this one. Unfortunately, he called me. He called me on my Trick Room play, which kind of sucks, because if I didn't go for my Trick Room play there, had I gone with the standard play, I would have gotten them. Okay. Uh, interesting. Interesting hyper offense team we got here. Nothing that Pulte guys can't handle, though. Oh, man, I really want to use this Toxtricity. I know I'm, like, throwing. Every time we see... Here's the thing. Every time we see a, Pol a Porygon, remind me through the comment section. It, it won't work. It won't work. But remind me through the comment section that I should have brought Bisharp. 
Uh, we'll bring, uh, I guess we, we can bring the Dracovish here. I guess it's fine. If we get the Trick Room up, I, I can go for it. Am I zero speed of my Dracovish? Pretty certain I am. Yeah, absolute zero. Oh, we're adamant. I should be brave. There we go. Why does it look like it went up? Oh, 72 divided by 2. That's why. Because it gets cut in half. So, good. All right. I, I thought it was adamant before. Or I thought it was brave before. Unfortunately, that was a mistake on my part. Suboptimal, suboptimal Iron Ball Dracovish plays, Marcos. What are you doing? Ooh, okay. Okay, so here's the thing. He's probably going to predict me to want to go for a Trick Room here. Because they're all dumb. Believe me, they're all dumb. Uh, so what I will do is I will call him on his calling me. And I will just remove his Gothitelle and self-shadow sneak. And if he doesn't sucker punch, if he decides not to sucker punch here, we're going to remove the Gothitelle as he wicked blows me. Ouch. All right. Hopefully he doesn't bring the Talonflame here, because the Talonflame would ruin my day. Ooh. That's an issue, because I really, really, really didn't like that. And he's probably going to go for Taunt. I have no reason not to try, at least. Maybe he's one of those bad players that doesn't bring Taunt Talonflame. Come on. Oh, he's one of those bad players that doesn't bring... <gasps> I hate you, dude. Are you banded? That's gotta be banded. I know, I know for a... F oh, wait. Am I special defense? Yeah, I'm special defense. Like an idiot. Get me out of here. I don't, I don't like it here anymore. I, I don't like it here anymore, guys. This started out great. It's not going great anymore. Uh, relaxed. Relaxed. That is something I'm not. I am not right now. I have thrown this game so many times, and the only way I can redeem myself is by Ficious Rending the crap out of this man. Nah, Ficious Rend. And I'm going to G-Max Stun Shock him. I should live one, right? Dang, this man really just likes Dracovish. This man likes Dracovish. I guess he maybe called that I was a Trick Room Dracovish when I tried to go for the Trick Room there and protect. Uh, yeah, as soon as you don't see the Scarf, you're like, yeah, that Dracovish is no threat. Unfortunately, we have to catch him on that. All right, let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, honestly, this is going a lot better when I was playing Pulte guys normally. I, I just want a Baton Pass so much, man. All right. Uh, I mean, there's not really too much issue with leading exactly how we've been leading. Toxtricity in the back. If they go for the... Oh, no, not the Bisharp. Poltegeist. Yep, Toxtricity in the back. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll bring... I'll bring Bisharp this time around. Ooh, okay. Alright. I think as long as they're not... As long as they are not... Oh, the Koba Berry. So no, they don't live this. Yeah, they, they don't live this. I'm dumb. I keep forgetting I have this. I have this phenomenal Pokemon that tells me items. Because I keep skipping it. Like an idiot. Who no, an eject button. See, he thinks he's cool. He thinks he's cool because he did that. But guess what? You just unleashed the beast that is, uh, that is this Basharp. I'm about to taunt you. I'm about to taunt this man. And he does have a weakness policy, so I don't really want to do too much else. Let me just get in the Poltegeist again. He thinks he's fancy. Oh, I didn't even check for the eject button, dude. I'm so bad. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, kind sir. I mean... It's a little late. But I'll take it. Go for this Lash Out. Actually, let me just... The, the Amoongus can't protect. I should just double into it. Let me just go for the Iron Head and the Psychic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're within Sucker Punch range, my friend. Oh, no. He has a weakness policy now. But he's also within Sucker Punch range. Let me just do that. 
Well, yeah, let me just do that real quick. Um, I mean, obviously, I don't want to set off your thing. Uh, we'll just go for a Giga Drain into you for a little bit of health. Yeah, that thing's gone. What does this thing do besides be annoying? Like, for real, what what is his game plan here? What is... Does he have the Charizard? Does he have that? Because if he doesn't have the Charizard, then, like, what, what what's, what's your game plan? Of course I taunt here, right? Of course. Um... And I just Psychic. Like, he could protect. I just wouldn't care. I want to get rid of Amoongus. Because then Toxtricity just goes in. There's the Psychic. There's my Psychic. As he Sludge Bombs me, I don't really care. Uh, I will go ahead and I will go for my Lash Out into that thing. Because it should KO. Pretty certain it will KO here. Uh, and also get in my Dusclops. Because I want Trick Room. Actually... I think my play here is to Iron Head U and get in the Dust Cops because I want I want to get Trick Room up because there's definitely something faster than me in the back and it's probably named Charizard. Uh, yeah, no, you're, you're dumb, bro. Uh, let me go ahead and knock out this Amoongus now with the uh, Lash Out and the Trick Room. Or actually, Iron Head does more. Yeah, I'm just making sure I clicked it right, because I, I am notorious for misclicking when it matters most. Thank you for the trick room, and now I will get in my Toxtricity and win. But before that, let me go ahead and uh, knock you out, because you can't prevent me from KOing your Amoongus here. Go for the Lash Out, go for the uh, Nightshade. I could Shadow Sneak, and technically two of these would do it. No, just one does it. Cool. And now I win. Now I win, because I have a Toxtricity in the back. Unless, of course, they have a Primarina, in which case I've thrown very hard. Oh, it is Primarina. Fun. Fun. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need this Trick Room to go away soon. Let me go ahead into Iron Head and undo my Trick Room. He's going to knock out my Dallas Cops, isn't he? Nah, he, he threw. Okay, good game. Go for the Lash Out. Actually, check, check out this. <laughs> check this out. Just to be mean. Just, just to be rude here, because this man's running eject button. I'm going to do that. Just to be rude. Now I overdrive. I go for my iron head, and you can't win. Because both of these Pokemon outspeed. Yeah. Oh my god, if he has Aqua Jet, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to poop. I'm going to poop if this man is Aqua Jet. He does not. Okay. Well, guys, thank you uh, for tuning in to the first mess of an episode known as Unlocked. Let me know what you guys think about this really dumb team in the uh, comment section down below. Uh, and go ahead and leave a like. Leave a like for the uh, accidental, non-optimal Iron Ball Dracovish. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember to comment down below what you want to see next. Uh, have a nice night. Bye.